Free Church of Scotland continuing. We meet at 2 Thornwood Terrace. That's just off Dumbarton Road. We meet on the Lord's Day Sunday at 11 a.m. and again at 6.30 p.m. We'd love to see you. But we're out here this afternoon for a few more minutes. We want to bring to your attention a person. And this is what Christianity is all about. It's about a person. And that person is the Lord Jesus Christ. There would be no Christianity without Christ. There would be no hope for anyone without Christ. And we need to hear about him and we need to know about him. And we're happy this afternoon to be able to share with you something of this great and glorious person. I want to tell you this afternoon about a wonderful incident that happened while Jesus was on the cross. You might know or you might not know much about Jesus, but you'll know he went to the cross. Well, when he went to the cross and suffered and died, there were two other people with him, and they were thieves. They were thieves, and they were more than thieves. They were murderers, because they would never be crucified if they were simply thieves. They were wicked, wicked individuals, and we might say there was no hope for them. But you know, as Jesus was on the cross in the middle of them, one of the thieves turned to the Lord Jesus Christ, and he said, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. Here he was, this thief was about to die. And so was the Lord Jesus about to die. And the thief turns to him and says, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And here was a wicked, wicked individual who had killed someone. And now he was being crucified for his crimes. And he turns to the Lord Jesus. And what do you think Jesus said to him? Jesus said to him, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. In other words, your sins are forgiven. And when you die, you will be with me in paradise. You will go to heaven to be with me. What a wonderful thought. What a wonderful action the Lord Jesus performed there that day. When he forgave the sins of the penitent thief and promised him and assured him that his eternal destiny was safe and was secure. Now you would think that person, there was no hope for him. You would think that that person would never go to heaven. You would think that he would be rejected, that he would be ejected out of heaven. But no, the Lord Jesus saved him moments from eternity and promised him and assured him that he would be found in heaven. Why so? Because he turned to the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is what you must do. If you're ever to be found in heaven, if you're ever to be found in glory, you must turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. You must repent. You must forsake your sins. You must acknowledge that you're a sinner in the sight of God and that you deserve his wrath and punishment, and you must cry out for his mercy, and you will find that the Lord Jesus Christ is merciful. The Bible says, read it for yourselves. Don't take my word for it. Read it for yourselves. Who is a God like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passes by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever, because, because, because he delighteth in mercy. Our God is one who delights in mercy, but it's only mercy that is found in the Lord Jesus Christ. He's only merciful to sinners when we turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Before I finish... Let me ask you a very sobering question. We're handing out gospel tracts, and some of them are very gospel oriented. They're speaking about the Savior. But one track is entitled, Where Are You Going? Where are you going today? 
well, you're going to work or you're going shopping or, or you're going to, co to have some coffee or whatever. But where are you ultimately going? When your life is over, where are you going? You're born into this world. You're a baby, you're a toddler. You go to school, you get educated. You maybe go to higher education or you take out an apprenticeship. You have a job, you get married, you have a family, you have grandchildren. And before you know you, where you are, you're into your old age. And then, by natural generation, you go the way of all the earth. But where are you going? Because, friends, don't listen to what the atheist will tell you. And don't listen to those who believe in evolution, what they will tell you. They will tell you when you die, it's all over. Friends, that's not the case. When you die, eternity begins for us. And where will you spend eternity? That's the most vital, important question that you can answer. If you're a Christian, if you belong to Jesus Christ, uh, if you have him as your Lord and Savior, you will go to be with him. As the Apostle Paul says, which is far better to be with Christ. But if you're not a Christian, where will you go? This man says garbage. Evolution works. Evolution's nonsense is educated nonsense. You've never seen evolution. There's not a single scrap of evidence for evolution. Nothing can come from nothing. That's a fact. That's a scientific fact that can be proved. But the evolutionists will tell us that all life came from nothing. Absolute educated nonsense. It's the biggest hoax, hoax of history. Nothing can come from nothing, friends. And you have come from something God has created you. And therefore, when we die, we will either go to heaven to be with Christ, or we will go to that terrible place called hell. Heaven or hell. We're here today to tell you the way of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the way that takes us to heaven. He, uh, he himself did say, I am the way and the truth and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. No one goes to heaven unless Christ will take them. And if Christ doesn't take us to heaven, we will go to that terrible place that has been prepared for the devil and his angels a place called hell. Knowing the terror of the Lord, Paul says, we persuade men. And we want to persuade you that you might be found in Christ, that you would seek him whilst he may be found. We're here from Partick. We're going to wind up our time here. We're here from Partick, Free Church of Scotland continuing. And it has been a pleasure being on the street with you this afternoon. May God bless his word to you.